This is Mount Hassan Meraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDOS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the top view, this is the front view and this is the right side view. So first of all, I will start drawing from the top view. In the top view, I will draw this outer circle and this outer circle has a diameter of 75 unit. Then I will start to it to 75 unit. Okay. Then from the top plane, I will draw a rectangular light rectangular profile like the, this one for drawing this rectangular line i will draw a center line here and this center line has a dimension of 113 unit then i'll draw two offset line one is here another is here and this offset line uh, to, has a total distance of 75 unit because it is equal the radius so the half distance will be 75 divided by 2 and another half distance, distance will be 75 divided by 2 so then i'll uh, cap in line after that i will uh, i will select this circular profile and then i will use converting this to convert this circular profile then i will trim all the unnecessary line then i will extrude to boss i will extrude boss it to 28 unit uh, okay let's go back to our sketch and do this so first first of all i am selecting the top plane here now right click on it now sketch now normal to it after that select the circle from here and place the circle to the origin and draw a circle of 75 diameter Okay, now I submit ticket for a better view. Now go to features. Now is to boss. Now is to boss it to 75 unit. Okay. Now again select the top plane from here. Now sketch. Now normal tweet. Now select the um, center line from here and place the center line here and draw a center line of 113 unit. So after drawing the center line, go to offset entities and select the this line to be offset and the offset dimension will be the radius of the circle. So it will be 75 divided by 2. So it will be 37.5 unit. Now select bidirectional cap in line. Now press OK. After that, I am selecting this circular profile. Now select the converting entities. So this circular profile has been drawn automatically. Now select the team option and from the team option, team the all, all the unnecessary line that we don't need. Now press OK. As this is over dimension, I am deleting one dimension. Okay. Now delete another dimension. You can see it is okay. Now it is clear. So now I submit ticket for a better view. Now go to features. Now to boss. Now to boss it to 28 unit. So to bossing it to 28 unit. Now press OK. So this portion it has been done again. Now let's go back to our sketch. In our sketch, we can see in the right plane we have a rectangular profile like here and for drawing this rectangular profile uh, first of all i'll in the right in the right plane i will draw a center line like here and this center line has the equal height of this 75 unit so i'll draw a center line of 75 unit then i'll draw two offset line and this two offset line has a dimension equal to this radius also so this total distance will be 75 unit so this half dimension will be 75 divided 2 and this half dimension will be 75 divided 2 then i'll offset these two line and then I'll close this shape. After that, I will extrude boss. I will extrude boss it to 28 unit. So in our uh, case, we can see a rectangular and semicircular cut here. And for drawing the uh, for extrude cutting this portion, first of all, I will draw a center line in the right plane. And after that, I will in the right side. And then I will uh, draw this center line of 25 unit. After that, I I can see the total distance is 19 unit. So I will draw two offset line. Uh, each are uh, 19 divided by 2 unit and another is 19 divided by 2 unit then i will use the cap in and i will use the circular profile here then i will to cut to like this in this way okay after that uh, in our sketch uh, we can see uh, that we have in here many circular cut okay for doing all the circular cut uh, let's go back to our sketch uh, in here we can see many circle cut and for that uh, if we talk about this uh, this middle circular cut okay and this middle circular cut has a dimension of 10 unit uh, stood cut and it has a diameter of 56 unit then if we go back toward inner this it is inner circular cut and this inner circular cut has a circular profile of 30 it's profile of 38 diameter and it has a circular cut of in this two way okay 
after doing all the all of this circle cut we can see uh, as this cycle has a dimension diameter of 38 unit but but from this circle uh, this in point uh, we will draw a center line okay after drawing the center line uh, we will uh, offset two line one is here and another is here and this offset will be uh, the 5 unit here and another will be 5 unit here because it will be 10 divided by 2 unit then i'll close this shape and i'll just cut this this portion okay okay let's go back to our sketch and before going that we can see that we have the finally some fillet one is here and another is here and the both the fillet is 10 radius okay let's finish our sketch for that i'm going selecting this right face now sketch now normal to it after that select the center line from here and place the center line to the origin and draw a center line of 75 unit you can uh, you can see this point is also 75 units so we don't need to dimension it manually okay so if you want to dimension you can see that it will show uh, over dimension okay because this point to this point is already 75 unit now select the offset entities and select this line and we will offset along 75 divided 2 so it will be 30 7.5 unit now cap in now select line now press ok now isometric it for a better view now go to features now is to boss now is to boss it to 28 unit now reverse direction now press ok so this portion has been quite done well now select this right face again now sketch now normal to it after that select the center line again from here and press the center line to this midpoint and draw a center line of uh, vertical incline vertical line of 25 unit and from the 25 unit uh, line select offset entities and offset two line and both line are uh, dimension of 19 divided by 2 now from the cap in select the arc now press ok and uh, you don't need to trim this portion because we don't have any uh, 3d object here so if you keep this this portion easily it will will not affect our 3d object so now go to features now it should cut now i should cut it to 28 unit now press ok so this portion has been cut quite well now i submit it for a better view now go to uh, this top plane now sketch now normal tweet now select the circle and place the circle to the previous circle origin and draw a circle of 56 diameter now i submit it for a better view now go to features now it should cut now it should cut it to 10 unit okay this portion has been done you can select here uh, this surface and rotate and select this surface and draw a and draw a mid plane along these two side and then you can mirror this extra cut portion or you can draw uh, this extra cut portion in the lower face uh, manually but i will show how to mirror it so i am selecting selected this upper face and selected this lower face so from this reference i will select a plane so you can see a, a mid plane has been drawn automatically now press ok after that uh, from the mid plane uh, i will select the mirror entities and mirror face face or plane for mirror face or plane i will select this plane one and for features to be mirror uh, i will select the extra cut two portion now press ok so this extra cut two portion has been mirrored here you can also do this manually okay now i am hiding this plane now i submit it for a better view and now select this upper face now sketch now normal to it after that select a circle and draw a circle of 38 diameter now press ok after that uh, select a center line from here and i'm closing this tree okay and select a center line from here and draw a center line of 40 okay let's draw a center line of 41 unit 41 unit okay this center line has been drawn now uh, now select the offset entities and from here offset it as our total distance is 10 unit so it will be 10 divided by 2 unit so it will be 5 units now select the line tool from here now press ok now zoom it here now select the trim option and trim the unnecessary line we don't need so we don't need this two portion and again this two portion be careful about the trim okay so rotate it here uh, we also don't need this portion and this portion so our team trim has been done now press ok now isometric it for a better view 
now go to features now I should cut now select this arrow and pull it down okay now press ok so this actual cut portion has also been done now i should take it for a better view now it's time for the filleting for the filleting select this filler option from the features tab now our fillet is 10 radius so the default is 10 to 10 radius so we do not uh, have to give the value manually so i'm selecting this line edge you can hover your mouse and select this edge if you cannot see this edge uh, from hovering your mouse you can rotate uh, and select this edge so this two edge has been selected now press ok so our extra, uh, so our fillet has been done now i submit ticket for a better view so as you can see we have drawn our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different